to your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good morning everyone. I'm Colette Stinger. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Over the weekend, there were over 50 protests in cities nationwide after the Supreme Court ended the constitutional right to an abortion. Here in Michigan, a political expert tells TV5 a ballot initiative to get reproductive freedoms in the state constitution is mobilizing voters. Republicans will use the initiative for the opposite reason, but notes many Republican voters are already mobilized. He adds with Michigan's new districts, a lot could change. Well, police are still searching for a suspect accused of shooting and killing a man on Bay City's east side. It happened on Columbus Avenue near South Sheridan Street just after 4 Sunday afternoon. A 34-year-old was taken to the hospital where he later died. Police described the suspect as a light-skinned black man who took off on foot. Authorities also want you to look out for a light-colored Ford Explorer that sped from that area. If you have any information, please contact Bay City Police. Well, it's National HIV Testing Day, and the Genesee County Health Department is providing a testing event. Most people living with HIV can't expect to live as long as people who don't, but the first step is knowing your status. Residents are encouraged to stop by the Sexual Health Clinic that's on South Saginaw Street in Burton. The event will also have free food, games, raffles, and self-care activities. Now here's Matthew with a look at your forecast. Thanks, Colette. We do have a cooler day on this Monday, at least cooler than the weekend, but it'll feel very refreshing and give you a chance to turn the air conditioning off too. Up to around 71 degrees for the Tri-Cities and Flint, middle 60s for the Thumb and our northern counties and our wind today staying out of the northwest between 5 to 15 miles per hour. Not as many wind gusts for today too compared to Sunday afternoon. But very quiet all around the Great Lakes. We'll continue with the sunshine through around mid to late morning. We'll start to have some clouds moving in from the north for the middle of the afternoon today, partly to mostly cloudy, not expecting any wet weather out of that though. Then as we head into the evening, we start to clear back out once again with clear skies for your Monday night and seeing another fall in temperatures back to the upper 40s near 50 by Tuesday morning. On your first one five hour by hour two by Tuesday evening, we'll track a cold front that moves through the area. Should be enough to at least provide a few showers for us. Certainly we could use as much rain as we can get. And then as we head into Wednesday morning, some of that rain still lingers, but eventually comes to an end by the afternoon on Wednesday. As far as your rainfall totals go on average around a quarter of an inch, especially in our northern counties. But if you're farther south, our southern row of counties specifically, you may miss out on the entirety of this rainfall. Again, certainly uh, we need it. It's been a week since we've had our last meaningful rainfall around mid Michigan. On your 70 forecast, another chance of rain Thursday night into Friday, but that looks to be the same case. Just not a lot of moisture to work with, but the upcoming holiday weekend looking good so far. Temperatures in the lower 80s with mostly sunny skies. That's something we'll keep an eye on. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.